In this demo, I have a cascaded shadow mapping up and running on iOS. And I'll just tilt it around so that you can see the shadows in action. So as you can see, cascaded shadow mapping is possible on iOS. I didn't think the device had uh, the performance necessary to do shadows in real time, but it definitely does and it runs at 60 frames per second. Also the quality of the shadow mapping is pretty good. You get really good resolution, even with a 512 by 512 shadow map. So I can even go as low as 256 by 256 as I want to, and you'll still have good shadows. This uses the same algorithm for generating the cascaded shadow maps as what I did in my prior demos that you can see on the YouTube channel. It's only been slightly modified so that it runs a little bit better on iOS since it is a constrained device. But essentially the same algorithm that I, I had up and running on the PC is running on the iPhone and at 60 frames a second. So the device is certainly powerful enough to run uh, something that's as intensive, as intensive as Cascade shadow mapping. I use uh, vertex shaders and pixel shaders to generate the shadow maps. And these are rendered into a uh, depth buffer render texture that I create. And that can be controlled. I can select the resolution, the bit depth, etc. And when possible, if the device supports hardware percentage close, closer filtering, I have that in the in the pixel shader, it'll take advantage of that. So you'll get some nice smooth edges for the shadows. And if it doesn't, it reverts to a lower quality shadow mapping that still runs pretty decently on devices that don't support this. So pretty much um, it's up and running. The only thing I didn't do is self shadowing because the game I have planned doesn't really require it. So that's the only thing that's not supported but it's easy to do if I wanted to have self shadowing. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to show. Uh, the next videos, I don't know when I'm gonna do them because uh, I've got to plan the game. I have enough technology where I can actually start doing a game. So probably the next video that I'll do, you'll be able to see the in-game character or maybe a level but the next thing I'm going to be leaning towards is actually having gameplay done with the technology that I have so far. So tune in next time and I'll have another demo. Thanks.